Hi. So often uh, uh, during investigation uh, or in any of the cyber frauds, uh, you come across such type of SMS. So let's understand on how to investigate these SMSs. So uh, to start with, I have taken one example. Uh, so this is an example. There was a fraud SMS uh, that was being sent. So just to decode, how does it work is, uh, this is called header. So it is JD hyphen J-A-V-R-I. So JD is, uh, uh, JD represents the uh, network operator and the circle from which it was sent and Javeri is the entity. Now, how do you investigate? Uh, uh, so before investigation, uh, we'll just take a brief on uh, uh, how does this system work? So first of all, uh, these type of SMS that comes without a number uh, directly, these are called as, as uh, A2P SMS. And uh, this is in India, it is being managed by uh, a distributed ledger uh, technology that is a blockchain uh, type platform. And uh, uh, so these SMS are sent only if you are approved on the DLT uh, platform. Now, how does it work? So there are total eight operators who are uh, currently uh, in the business of A2P SMS. So A2P SMS, again, as I said, there will be no numbers and uh, SMS will be uh, sent online. Uh, so these are the eight operators that are active right now. And uh, some of them does not have the uh, telecom license uh, as such for calling or for uh, uh, normal operations. But yes, they have the A2P uh, SMS uh, service license. So if you see here, uh, these are the eight operators and eight websites wherein you can find the detail. And uh, let's say, for example, if you open the uh, website of BSNL, in BSNL, uh, you will find uh, different uh, uh, modules uh, and uh, different entities and headers that are approved. Uh, now, let's explore how does this work. So this is the registration step by the telecom operator. So what happens is, and remember, everything is being managed by telecom operators. So uh, first of all, if you want to send an SMS, online SMS, you go to uh, any of the telecom operator uh, that were listed in the previous slide, and then you register your entity. There is a basic KYC uh, through which you can register your entity. So for example, uh, um, uh, let's say State Bank of India wants to send in SMS, uh, they will go to any of the telecom operators saying that uh, I, am an, I am SPI and I need to register an entity. Then uh, uh, second, uh, once it gets approved, it gets SPI gets a unique, uh, um, a unique registration number. Uh, let's say a registration number is uh, XXXX and it gets uh, um, recorded on the DLT platform. Now, DLT platform is a shared platform among, amongst the, all the uh, operators. So even if one operator will approve it, uh, it will get replicated across all the operators. Second step would be header registration. So now SBI says that I need an header called as SBIIN uh, B, for example. So uh, SBI will again uh, uh, apply for a header corresponding to the, its entity. So first step of registration is entity. Second one is it will apply for an header if it's available. Uh, then any of the telecom operator which uh, uh, with which uh, SPI is applying, they will approve it. And now SPI INB will be in the name of, uh, will be uh, given to SPI. And again, a unique number, uh, let's say YYYY will be given to the header. Now the third step would be the template registration. So SBI says that uh, I need to um, register a template. So uh, it will give a template. For example, your OTP is. Now this is the template that is that is uh, registered by uh, uh, SBI. So VAR means variable. So this will keep on changing every time. So uh, again, this template will be given to the operator. Operator will approve it. And again, it will be a part of the DLT, the blockchain platform. And, uh, and again, uh, here also there will be a unique uh, number that will be given for this template. Now to send an SMS, you need uh, these X, Y, and W. Uh, three numbers, you take these three numbers and then you go to uh, telemarketer, uh, telemarketer saying that I need to send an SMS. Now telemarketer is again uh, having a tie up with uh, operator. So uh, uh, typically uh, as of today, one SMS costs 10 pesa, one online SMS. So now telecom operator uh, will 
receive the instruction from telemarketer so uh, this is how you and and then the operator will deliver the message so this is how you uh, send an sms now uh, coming back to the previous one if you see j d j a v r i how do you investigate so there is a website of uh, try that is uh, called as sms uh, header uh, So website is smsheader.try.gov.in. So you need to open an account here uh, through the uh, process. And I have my account. So I will directly log in. It's a public uh, uh, thing. Yes. So if you see here, it's J D J A V R I. So this will not matter. You can write anything. J and you write J A V R I. So this gets updated on daily basis. So once you have a J H A V R I, sorry, there was a spelling. Yes. J J V. Sometimes website throws error, so you can change the prefix. Now, if you see here, it's a Javeri Securities Limited. So he is the principal entity who has sent the SMS. So uh, now this is interesting how to decode. So let's say if it's JD Javeri, so you can decode here J means Geo and D means Delhi. Now, this does not mean that Geo Delhi has sent the SMS. This means that Geo Delhi has delivered the SMS. So the JD, I'm seeing it JD because the Geo network had delivered the message to me, but not necessarily uh, Geo has sent the SMS. So this detail will be given to you only by uh, Geo or the creator of the DLT platform, that is the Tanla Technologies. So uh, again, I would reiterate the main uh, catch here is if you see JD, JD is the exit node that is the delivery node rather than the entry node so you need to get that detail on who sent the sms now uh, let's uh, uh, go towards what to investigate now before that uh, 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 let me open the uh, website so if you open the website of telecom operator let's say bsnl uh, so in bsnl you will see such type of platform and there on the bottom of it there will be two pdfs so number one is the list of principal entities registered as and this gets updated daily and list of headers associated with principal entities so if you want to find out who has registered the header uh, or if the bsnl has registered any of the header you can find it out using this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, it's it's it will be a huge file uh, for you to um, uh, find out so uh, for mtnl and bsnl if you see the website is same uh, almost same and if you go to the bottom of the page it is written powered by uh, tanla so tanla is an indian uh, company it company that handles the uh, blockchain uh, technology for many of the operators so this is uh, all about uh, using the um, sms header now let's go forward and see uh, uh, what to investigate so Number one is you should ask which telecom operator had approved the entity template or header. Number two is you should ask for who is the telemarketer who sent the SMS. So by telemarketer, uh, there is a company, let's say a company called as Mobi Shastra. So if you see in the services, uh, here it's written bulk SMS, promotional SMS, transactional SMS, SMPP. Uh, so these are the services and Mobi Shastra is a telemarketer. So now how does it work is as discussed, you have to give the three detail entity ID, header ID, and template ID to Mobi Shastra. And Mobi Shastra will provide you a dashboard and a platform to send an SMS. So many a times they are found uh, involved in sending the fraudulent SMS. Second one is get the IP details because um, SMPP is a protocol uh, to uh, send a, a, a SMS. So get the details from where the SMS was shared. So as to find out the uh, culprit. Uh, proof of phone numbers. Many times it is seen that crores of SMS are sent, but uh, the source of numbers are not known. So you have to ask the telemarketer on where did they get the numbers, the huge crores of numbers. Uh, this will uh, 
show you the involvement of telemarketer in the fraud. Also, uh, fifth one is you have to ask how many SMS were sent by the criminal. So again, this detail will be given by the telemarketer. And last one is if you want to get detail of the uh, any of the uh, uh, header or template, I mean, the last resort, you can go to uh, this email address. You can uh, uh, drop a uh, email saying that we need the detail of this particular header or a template or the telemarketer and they will be uh, able to help. Remember, Tanla is a technology provider. Uh, I mean, uh, they will be helping out of uh, 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 courtesy. So uh, that is all about uh, the uh, headers and how does it look? So this is one of the fraudulent template, um, uh, sorry, fraudulent header. So if you see here, there is a template ID, uh, there is an entity ID and who has approved that uh, 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 these uh, uh, IDs and uh, these were the headers and this is the template. So if you see all the templates are fraud, Let's say, dear consumer, your electricity power will be disconnected, your insurance charge. So all the SMS, if you see here, all are creating fear. So here, if you see uh, account is credited with uh, and transfer, but due to GST reason, your transaction is on hold. So these people have registered fake uh, template and these are the operators who have approved the template. So uh, this is how it looked like. I mean, the data looks like uh, while asking. So uh, yes. So this is a new technology. I mean, it's an interesting uh, imp um, implementation of blockchain. So this is how you investigate the uh, SMS headers. Yeah, thank you.